I am Senator George Thompson Sekibo. I am sure this name is a household name in River State because of the circumstances through which I was ejected out of the Senate. Uh, the people clamored that I should go back and redeem uh, our lost uh, victory. I have taken some time to pause. I have taken some time to think about it. And eventually, I have accepted the call to run. I have come out to run for the Senate for 2019. Why am I running? I must have a parliamentary agenda and a constituency outreach agenda. I believe that the programs contained in this agenda will enable the people to understand that experience accounts in the affairs of men. I have what I call my parliamentary focus. And in the parliamentary focus, I'm trying to shoot at four different agenda, or maybe five, uh, to see if that can bring improvement to my central district, to River State, and then the entire country. In this regard, I intend to carry out or focus on these five parliamentary uh, issues, which I think have a big bearing on River State, meaning that whatever affects River State will definitely affect my central district. First is the issue of devolution of constitutional powers. That is the first of my focus. I think there is a great need to reduce the powers in the exclusive legislative list and make it a little bit lighter. When that one is done, Riverside is going to benefit from it extensively. And if Riverside is going to benefit from it, River State, my central district, who's virtually most of the urban centers in the in the state. That means Padaka will benefit, Ubiapa will benefit, Ikwere will benefit, Emawa will benefit, Ukrika will benefit, Ogubolo will benefit, Eche will benefit, and Omuma will benefit because they all they are like arteries to our capital city, Port Harcourt. Now, why do we want it? We want it because of my experiences. The next issue is physical federalism. Physical federalism is very important for the people of River State. Like I've said before, if River State has a huge share of revenue, then it means that my central district will also have a huge share. It's, it follows in that way. It is my belief that if we are trying to practice physical federalism, it will bring more development to my state because as a major oil producers in the country, it means that we are also going to get uh, more opportunities of making more money. Such programs are not, are not achieved by one person, but one person can steer the ship and others will join and both will work together and get that done properly. The third agenda is a remediation of the Niger Delta degraded environment. Of course, I don't need to talk much on this one. Today, every person in River State will know that our waterways are very, very polluted. So the, we must canvas for the cleaning up of the Niger Delta region. The areas are terribly, terribly polluted. Every area is polluted. Our people are typical fishermen. Our people are typical farmers. All those in the Niger Delta region, they engage in fishing, they engage in farming. Now the land is polluted. Good food is not coming out. The few they had from the soil are already polluted. And we don't know whether they, they may cause cancer or whether they are carcinogenic or so. We are not even aware. No research has been done to protect our life. So I think that it is necessary now, now that we have not gone to the extremity of it, we should take carry, carry out a program that will be able to uh, remedy our environment. For us to catch fish, 
for us to also uh, go into bumper harvest if you go into planting and you know, agricultural program. The other one again is this. I think that there is a deliberate effort of some sector of government to strangulate the economy of the South South people. Now, if the South South, if the economy of the South South people is strangulated, River State is part of South South, and then my central district is part of River State. So it affects my people. Today, you will observe all the seaports in the South South are not working. Why are they not working? Who makes things difficult for them? Why can't we reverse them? Where they're not working before, the seaport at Calabar is not working. The seaports all, both in Podakot and uh, in Onekbogiri houses, they are not working. All the seaports in Delta, they are not working. Why? Why are they not working? But they are only working when they want to take home and take the oil at the, at the jetty. Taking the oil at the jetty, the ports are working. But bringing goods and services, the ports are not working. So that is a problem that we need to ask questions and see how we will, will find out. And we know that when the ports were gradually being closed down for one reason or the other, it was also causing a sacking of our young, our teaming youth. We are working in those complexes and thereby sending more young people on the street. When more young people are on the street, what do you expect? You will expect crisis. You will expect commotion, you will expect riot, you will expect more harm robbery, you will expect more of militancy, you will expect more of cultism, because they have no work to do. So I think that there's a need to make a proper effort to see that our seaports are working very well. When our seaports work very well, Port Accord is going to gain some of it as a seaport. And if Port Accord is going to gain, and then a, a Leme local government, Ogubulu local government, Ogulika local government, are also close to another seaport, are also going to gain immensely. It will we reduce youth unemployment problem and then create uh, uh, reduce also poverty and in, 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 uh, improve on the wealth status of the people. Finally, I think that I must have a hand in how to stop gas flaring for two reasons. First, the gas that is, is flared into the sky will will have an effect in the ozone layer, and the entire international community is crying about that one. Secondly, the guy that we are flaying out can be tapped and natural gases could be unnest from it, could be adverses from it, which will be used for improvement in our income generation. And then finally, we've all seen the issue of uh, uh, black suit in River State. It is a major disaster for all of us. Wherever it is coming from, we have a federal government that is in charge of the security systems. We have a federal government that is in charge of the NNPC and all that. And then there are partners in Shell, there are partners in uh, Elf, Ajip, and, and so on and so forth. I am sure they will be able to get a solution to either the gas flaring that is caused by the oil majors or the local uh, bunkers, illegal bunkers, who are causing all these uh, problems for us. I don't, I'm not against uh, people uh, producing oil and selling to us, but I'm against it not doing it in the right way. So the modular refinery issue has come up. Some people are getting approvals. I advise that those who get the approvals should start to install their equipment and start producing. And then those who have not got things and are also trying to get, we will use the parliamentary platform to help them to push it so that they are able to get licenses for modular refineries. These are the areas of my parliamentary focus I'm going to engage in. By the grace of God, if the people of the River Central District, uh, as they have done before, again, again, and again, give me the mandate to present them. Uh, generally, I will thank the, the, the people of the River East Central District for the various opportunities they have given to me. And uh, I also want to also implore them that they should stand by me just as we are disgraced and our mandate was taken away from us. We should work together in partnership. We should work together jointly and reclaim that stolen mandate. And I believe that God will decide the truth. We stand by us because God in heaven himself knows that we won the election and by whatever means we are deprived of, of our, our mandate. So I believe it is going to be well. We are going to have it. 
and I pray for peace for River State. Thank you very much and God bless you.